friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. Thank you so much for clicking on today's air fryer recipe video. You guys have been begging for some more air fryer recipes and I have three absolutely delicious ones to share with you. I have a couple of lunch or dinner recipes and a dessert. What air fryer video isn't complete without a dessert? I wanna say thank you to Omo Air Fryer for sponsoring today's video. They graciously sent me this air fryer and I am literally obsessed with it. It isn't just your mama's air fryer. It is a dehydrator, it has a rotisserie chicken option, and it is a 17 quart oven style air fryer with racks so you can air fry a ton at once. It's perfect for a family. It's perfect if you wanna air fry several things at once like you'll see in today's video. So thank you again to Omo for sponsoring today's video. So without further ado, you guys, let's air fry some meals. For tonight's air fryer dinner, we are making steak tips with potatoes and then I decided since I had a couple of zucchinis on hand, let's go ahead and air fry those up too. So let me show you what is in tonight's dinner. First, you're going to need some potatoes, garlic powder, butter of your choice. This is just the Mayoko's plant-based butter, salt and pepper, Worcestershire sauce, fresh or dried parsley, whatever you have on hand. And again, I decided to go ahead and go with some zucchini. I'm not sure how I'm going to season it, but I'll definitely let you know what we put on there. And then I have some steak here. This is actually from my butcher box. So, so this is grass fed beef top sirloin steak. These came in my butcher box. I love the butcher box. It is so affordable for grass fed grass finished beef i absolutely love the butcher box it is linked down below with free meat and they are doing free ground beef for life right now when you sign up with butcher box so highly recommend again it is linked down in the description box so let's get started on dinner so we have some chopping to do for this recipe so i am going to chop the potatoes into cubes and the steak the steak i'm putting here in this bowl because once we cook the potatoes we'll add it in with the steak i have another bowl here for the zucchini and then I have my fresh parsley that I'm going to put in a small bowl as well so let's chop to a boil on the stove we're gonna go ahead and cook the potatoes in the meantime let's do our zucchini so I decided to go ahead and add about a teaspoon of oil this is avocado oil you can use really whatever you have on hand it just helps the seasoning stick to the zucchini and it will help it become a little crispier in the air fryer and then to the zucchini I decided I was going to go with my favorite DAC seasoning. This is the nothing but the ranch. I love this because it's no MSG, no salt, clean, clean ingredients. The ingredients in those ranch packets are not the best and this is absolutely clean. It is very strong so a little goes a long way. It is amazing. DAX has over 20, no MSG, no salt. So if you watch your salt or the day before weigh-in, you definitely need to check out their over 20 seasonings. I do have 10% off for DAX. I'll put that here on the screen and there will be a link down in the description box as well. So I am going to pop quite a bit of the ranch on my zucchini here. And then again, I'm going to just give it a toss with my spoon. The oil will also help that ranch powder stick to the zucchini. And then this will be ready to go in to the air fryer right along with the steak tips and the potatoes. I have some salted water coming to a boil here and I'm just going to pop in my potatoes. We're going to let these cook for just about five minutes or so. They'll be pretty tender at that point, but they will continue the cooking process when we put them into the 
the air fryer. So I'm just going to drop in my potatoes and then we'll get ready to get the steak and potatoes ready to go and everything into the air fryer. So I've added the potatoes to the bowl with the steak. They are soft, not cooked all the way through, but they are definitely soft. Now we're gonna season this up before it goes into the air fryer. So first we are going to add a little bit of salt and pepper. There's that. We're going to add some garlic powder. And then I have two tablespoons of plant-based butter, whatever butter you're using. I just melted it in my microwave. And then we also wanna put about a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce right over the top. Give that a stir. Just make sure the steak, the potatoes, everything is seasoned really well. Also coated in the butter because if you have not had butter on steak, you guys, it's a complete game changer. It is so good. Most fancy restaurants will add a pat of butter to your steak at some point, whether before they serve it to you or during the cooking process because uh, it makes it so good. So we'll get this nice and stirred together and then we'll put this out on the rack so it can go into the air fryer so the first rack is actually going to be the steak and potatoes I did go ahead and spray it with some nonstick cooking spray and I'm just going to place the steak and potatoes on the rack just make sure that they are in a single layer they will cook a lot better faster and more consistent when they are in a single layer one thing I love 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 about this air fryer is these racks are so much bigger than my old air fryer. You can put a lot more on a rack. Perfect for a family. Perfect if you are, you know, trying to dehydrate fruit or if you're making food for a meal prep, you can literally just pile it on these racks. I really like these so much better, the size of these, than my old air fryer. So let's get the steak and the potatoes here on the rack. And then we'll add the zucchini to a separate rack. And then we're ready to fry it up. Next is the zucchini. So again, an even layer, single layer if you can on the rack. This is plenty big enough for both of these zucchinis. And then let's get our air fryer. Let's get these in so that they can get cooking. Oh my gosh, what a fantastic healthy dinner. And pretty low carb, I mean, other than the potatoes, this is a really well-rounded dinner. Meat, potatoes, and a veg. So here is the beautiful air fryer. You guys know I really truly love this air fryer. Best decision I ever made. I love the size. I love that it can dehydrate rotisserie chicken. It's amazing. So it is an oven style. So you go ahead and open this up. And again, there is a removable tray. So it makes it very easy to clean. I am actually going to put the meat towards the bottom rack just because we don't want the meat dripping on the zucchini. So we have both racks in the air fryer. There's room for additional racks if need be. We are simply going to close the air fryer. You have presets, of course, if you're cooking specific things, but I'm actually going to put this in for 20 minutes and let's do it at 400 degrees for 20 minutes. And there we have it. There's also the light feature with which I love so that you can see your food as it's cooking. So there we go. We'll be back in a flash to see what our completed dinner looks like. One more thing, you guys, about this air fryer that I forgot to mention is how quiet it is. My other air fryer was so loud, I couldn't film when the food was frying, but this is so quiet. So I'm gonna take you around the back. It's very quiet. Love that. So I went ahead and rotated it about halfway through, put the zucchini on the very bottom. Look how good it is looking. And then I pop the steak on the top just so that it has a chance to cook maybe a little bit more and the zucchini to cook a little bit less. So dinner's out of the oven. This looks so good. Look at the steak and the potatoes. It looks amazing and the zucchini. So this entire air fryer dinner only makes four serving so that's quite a large serving and the points are amazing so let me pop this on a plate and i'll be back to show you dinner give you points and calories all right so here is dinner i have half of the zucchini we went ahead and just divided that directly in half it is zero points because we didn't use enough oil to count for any points and then one fourth of the steak tips and roasted potatoes is only seven smart points and that's on blue and green you can deduct three points if you're on the purple plan so it would only be four points on purple you only have to count for the steak what a yummy hearty dinner for only seven points for me because I am on the blue plan. For tonight's air fryer dinner, I am making air fryer ravioli. 
I'm so excited about this. We're just gonna pair this with a vegetable. So it's going to be a pretty simple, but really, really decadent and delicious dinner. So let me show you what's in tonight's dinner. First, you're going to need some all-purpose flour and some breadcrumbs. I'm just using these Trader Joe's Panko breadcrumbs. You could also use regular breadcrumbs. Of course, you'll need a couple of eggs, some ravioli. The recipe actually calls for beef ravioli, but I couldn't find any. So I just grabbed this Bhutani for cheese ravioli instead. And then I have some Parmesan cheese. This is some of the skinniest dish, zero point crock pot marinara, some cooking spray. You also need either fresh or dry basil, whatever you have on hand. Surprisingly, I don't have any fresh, so we're gonna go with the dried basil. And then of course, we need an air fryer, and you guys know how much I love my Omo air fryer. This is the oven style, which I absolutely love. It has the racks, so we can cook a lot at once. So we're definitely gonna take advantage of using this oven, and of course, this is linked down below. You can buy this right off of Amazon. So let's make some ravioli. So the first step is you're going to need a fairly shallow bowl. We'll actually need shallow, a couple of shallow bowls for this recipe. So I'm going to add one cup of breadcrumbs. I have one quarter cup of fresh Parmesan cheese. And then we are going to also add some basil. And then just take a fork and stir that all together. This is going to be the breading of our ravioli. So we are taking already delicious ravioli and breading it and air frying it. Oh, this is gonna be amazing. So go ahead and stir that all together. Just get everything nice and combined and go ahead and pull out a second bowl. In another shallow bowl, I have one half of a cup of all purpose flour. And then I ran out of shallow bowls, but in another bowl, I have two eggs lightly whisked together. So these three components are what we are going to bread the ravioli in. But first, let's go ahead and measure out on our food scale two cups of ravioli. So here is the ravioli. We want two cups or 186 grams. So I have my bowl here on my food scale and then I'm just going to add ravioli until I have 186 grams. And there is 186 grams. So this is the amount of raviolis that we're gonna air fry. We have a little assembly line going here. We have our ravioli, our flour, our eggs, our breadcrumbs, and then we have the rack for our Omo air fryer. So what we're going to do is we are going to take a ravioli, first coat it in flour. Now we may not use all of this that we've accounted points for. We'll see as we get closer dip it into the egg, and then we're just going to dip it into the breadcrumb mixture. And it says to go ahead and pat the ravioli to make sure that the breadcrumb mixture sticks. This looks really good. So it's going to have like that crispy, cheesy coating. And we're just going to repeat. So here's our raviolis. These look so good, you guys. They look amazing. I barely had enough to finish all of them. I ended up having a little bit of extra flour, which I just discarded. We're gonna keep the points the same, not enough to matter. We are going to spritz the ravioli with some nonstick cooking spray. We're gonna pop this into the air fryer at about 350. I am going to go ahead and preheat it first a little bit, and then we'll flip these three to four minutes in, and we should have perfectly crispy ravioli. And then I'm gonna pull out a bag of veggies, we'll warm that up, and that's gonna be dinner. So I'm gonna go ahead and preheat my air fryer to 350. So we'll go ahead and get that started. These are all spritzed as you saw with cooking spray. So I'm gonna let it preheat about five minutes and then we'll toss in the ravioli. Once our air fryer is nice and warm, we're gonna go ahead and add our ravioli. So I'm going to put these, the second rack down. I don't want them too close to the top of the air fryer and then the partial rack I'm going to, or the partial tray I'm going to put kind of right along the bottom rack and we are good to go. So we're gonna keep it at 350 degrees. I have it at 13 minutes. I'll just keep my eye on it and add minutes if needed. But in about four minutes, we'll go ahead and flip them over. 
I can't believe how quiet this air fryer is. My other one sounded like a freight train. That's another thing I absolutely love about this air fryer. But with these gorgeous raviolis, we are going to have the Trader Joe's organic for some vegetable medley. Basically it's corn, peas, carrots, and green beans. So I'm gonna pop this in a microwave safe bowl with some water and this is going to be our side dish with our ravioli. And by the way, I can already smell, oh, the cheesiness of this. This is gonna be amazing. Veggies are going into the microwave. These look really, really good. I like the julienne carrots and we're about ready to flip our ravioli. I just went to flip the ravioli, but because this is an oven style, the air actually flows through the whole thing. They don't even need to be flipped. Now, if you are cooking this in a basket air fryer, you definitely wanna shake it up, but that's another great thing about these oven styles. You don't have to flip anything during the cooking, but look how amazing these are looking already. So just a couple more minutes, and then I think I'm gonna rotate the shelves so that these bottom ones just get a little bit crispier, but looking good. Oh my goodness gracious, look at this decadence. This looks so good. I have the other half rack in the air fryer. It should be done in just a couple minutes. This recipe makes six servings. So what I'm going to do is count up the number of raviolis, divide it by six. That way you know how many raviolis per serving. I'm gonna warm up some of that marinara sauce and my veggies and I'll be back to show you dinner, give you smart points and calories. Oh my goodness. And here is dinner. I cannot wait to dig in. This looks so good. So this ended up making six servings, like I said, of the ravioli. For me, it was about six raviolis per serving. It's going to depend on the kind of ravioli because remember we're weighing these out. So it's best to go ahead and cook all of yours up and then divide the number you cooked by six. That way you have the number of pieces per serving. So I have that. I warmed up some of the marinara so I can dip the ravioli in there. And then this is that veggie mix. So for the air fried ravioli, it is seven smart points on both the blue and purple plan and eight points on the green plan. 282 calories, including the marinara sauce. So this is dinner and this to me, you guys, is an indulgent dinner that's well within your smart points. So highly recommend this recipe, highly recommend this air fryer for a dessert recipe because let's make a dessert recipe in this amazing air fryer we are going to be making apple fritters my husband is so excited for this recipe i told him i would make it and it would be ready for him when he gets home from work so we're gonna make some apple fritters wait till you guys hear how great the points are in our air fryer you're going to need some all-purpose flour Sugar alternative of your choice. You guys know I love my monk fruit. Almond milk or non-dairy milk of your choice. Baking powder. Powdered sugar alternative. I'm just going to use Lakanto. Eggs. A couple of apples. These are pink lady, organic pink ladies. Some cinnamon and some salt. So let's make apple fritters. So to start with our fritters in a medium sized bowl here, we are going to put one cup of all purpose flour. I'm going to add some cinnamon. I'm just going to eyeball it because I usually do. I love cinnamon. So I'm gonna go a little heavy handed on the cinnamon. I'm going to do just a pinch of salt, one egg. So let's crack in our egg. And then we have one quarter cup of almond milk one quarter cup of monk fruit sweetener and then we're going to do one and a half teaspoons of baking powder this is a half of a teaspoon so we'll do three of those and then we're going to give this a stir until everything is nice and combined so i went ahead and peeled cored and diced those two apples to the apples i am going to add a little bit more cinnamon because we love cinnamon and some monk fruit, about two tablespoons worth of sugar. And then give this a quick mix together. We just wanna make sure the apples get coated in the cinnamon and sugar. We're going to add the apples directly to the dough mixture. Give that a stir. We wanna make sure everything is combined really, really well because we are going to roll these into dough balls, basically making a fritter. This is gonna be so good, you guys. We are even going to glaze them with that powdered sugar. So it's gonna be a donut vibes all day long along with some fall vibes. 
So I went ahead and grabbed out the rack to my air fryer. I'm going to give it a quick spray. I usually put parchment under it just so the spray doesn't get on my board here. And this delicious looking mixture makes four fritters. So I'm going to go ahead and roll these out into four equal sized fritters and put them here on the tray. And look at these. These are huge, you guys. I am going to give them another quick spray on top with the cooking spray. And then let's get these into the air fryer. So I'm going to go ahead and preheat my air fryer to 375 degrees. I'm just going to let this preheat for about five minutes before we put in our fritters. You guys, look at these. I cannot wait. So our air fryer is all warmed up. Ooh, that's nice and warm in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put our apple fritters in about middle of the way in, close it up, and let's set it for 15 minutes. And I will just keep my eye on it. Don't forget the Omo air fryer has a light so you can look right inside. So let me know down in the comments if you guys wanted me to do another video on how to dehydrate fruit and veggies because we definitely want to take advantage of that function. That's one of the main things I love about this air fryer. But let's let these apple fritters get nice and crispy. While the fritters are in the air fryer, and you guys, it's so quiet. You are right next to the air fryer. I have to say that is one of my favorite features, again, of this air fryer is it's so quiet. I love it. So in a bowl here, I have one half of a cup of the Lakanto uh, monk fruit powdered sugar. Again, you can use any sugar alternative of your choice. I want about a tablespoon of almond milk. I'm going to add just a little bit to start because we want this to be the right consistency for a glaze. I I'm also going to pop in some cinnamon, about a quarter of a teaspoon, and stir. So be really careful on your milk not to do too much. You can always add more, but it's hard to take away. So it looks like that actually for me is pretty perfect. You could also add some caramel extract if you wanted caramel apple vibes for these fritters. I looked for it but couldn't find it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do like a cinnamon glaze, but look at that. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. So I'm just gonna set this aside while the apple fritters are in the air fryer. I just pulled out the apple fritters. These look absolutely amazing. I am going to let them cool for just a few minutes before we add the glaze, just so the glaze doesn't melt. So we'll let these cool and then we'll pop on the glaze and wait until you guys hear points and calories for this huge apple fritter. All right, these are cooled enough that we are safe to glaze them. So I am going to go ahead and just drizzle, oh my goodness, the glaze right on top of these fritters. You guys, this is going to be such a great dessert. This would actually be a really good breakfast too. You could pair this with some eggs and you'd have a pretty well-rounded breakfast. You could throw in some turkey bacon. I'm pretty excited about these, so get these drizzled. And then I'm gonna store mine, I think, just in the refrigerator so that it keeps the drizzle, you know, kind of hardened until I want to eat it, but oh my goodness. Take a look at these. Oh my, this is decadence. Absolute decadence. And what is great about these apple fritters, the only things that have points are in these apple fritters are the almond milk and the flour. And we didn't use enough almond milk to even have a point worth. We only have to count points for the flour. So each one of these fritters, including the glaze, is only three points, you guys, and 169 calories. You cannot beat that. These are huge. I mean, look at compared to my hand. These are pretty darn good size. So there is a wonderful fall dessert recipe in the Omo air fryer. Definitely check out the air fryer. Best I've ever had. Thank you so much for joining me on today's air fryer video. Thank you again to Omo for sponsoring today's video. If you enjoyed these recipes, you can get a hold of them on my website, which is linked down in the description box below, as well as the link to head over and take part in my nutrition coaching. I have a separate website and private Facebook group for that. So that information is down in the description box and the link to head over and join my other Facebook group. We'd love to have you be part of all of the different communities and links and discount codes to all of my favorite things, including the items that I shared with you today. And of course, 
the air fryer is linked down below for you guys as well. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss a single video. I plan on doing a ton more air fryer videos because I'm literally obsessed with this air fryer. I love it so much. Also thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. And again, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought of today's video and if you're gonna pick up this air fryer, you won't be disappointed. Thank you again for hanging out with me today and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.